Welcome back to another X theme demo. Today is all about adding content to your home pages, and it's finally time to have some fun. Just make sure you have your customizer window, your cornerstone window, and your home page window open, along with any other tabs that you might need. To add a parallax section to your home page, just go to cornerstone and grab another text element drag it in over the cube and now we're going to make use of the background of this section but let's add some text first parallax sections are good for simple information like quotes or mission statements or buttons and I found my particular quote on Google just by searching quotes about blank usually you get brainy quote and that's a great resource so check that out of course you'll notice that the content here is tailored towards my demo mock website featuring televisions but you guys can make whatever you want and let me know if you have any questions let's center our text and set the heading one so it's nice and large now let's click away from the text or the section where you can see my mouse hovering let's click into this section and add a background type image by clicking this image icon and clicking plus. Here's the background we want. So I'll click insert into post and that'll fill in nicely behind our text. As it's doing that, let's make that text white so it'll show up on the background. And in the text tab, I'm gonna write in some of that space short code, which again is just ampersand NBSP semicolon and you can copy paste those vertically to get more space on either side of your text like that which will show more of the image alright and then up at the top I'm gonna to click back to section under text so that's another way of getting to section as opposed to clicking outside of your element and now I'm just going to scroll down and click Parallax on. My first web development class told me that Parallax was one of the most complicated things to create online and I never would have thought it was that easy. We're going to leave the margin and the padding the same which surrounds this section because I figured that XTheme already thought through that for us. And let's save. Check out the site. Now a problem you might face is that your text conflicts with the images like I've done right here. So to fix that, we just need to choose a better background image. We can X out of our current image and thankfully I have another option right here with these three televisions in a display. Click insert into post and then save it while the image loads. And now when we refresh, Save one more time and refresh. Can't get too ahead of ourselves. And now we have a nice, very clean parallax effect on our homepage. Good work. Let's head back to Cornerstone and click on the brick and label this section three parallax. Now I want to add a skills bar right below our parallax section to show off our skills. First we need a new section, so click Add Section, and then let's put that content in. Go to the cube for Elements, and let's find Skills Bar all the way at the bottom, or just Skill Bar, and you get one moving bar. Let's click that, and we need a title, like HD Quality, and a percentage which is nice and high. If you don't put that percentage sign in, the bar won't work properly, so we need percentage right after the number, which will go as far as we set it to. And if you insert bar text right here, that'll replace this number. I'm happy with this background color, and I guess one bar could be used to represent uh, a page loading or something like that if you dragged it into the right place. But since these are skills, I want two more bars, so let's hit duplicate twice and change up the other titles 
you can do this all pretty easily on your own so I'll just do it really quickly our skill bar is now working but because our audience might not understand what it really means let's go to the cube elements and add in a text element above the skill bar and a text element below the skill bar because all our skills are over 90% I'm gonna write in join the 90s club centered heading 2 and then in this text box below the skill bar I want a button back to short codes and we can click buttons again we're using short codes for all of our buttons and not the button element within cornerstone that makes sure we can customize our buttons later on if we want so that they can look a little bit different and maybe we can test out how they look and what gets clicked the most grab our flat round large button copy and we can paste that button short code in right here in the text tab of our text element and the button should show up let's center it and then back in text let's give it a little space so it's not touching our skill bar got to get off of that caps lock perfect I'm gonna write in a class for our button now which goes in between these brackets and it goes right before the text without interfering with the other uh, selectors in here like type shape and size so I'm just gonna write in class equals quotation mark clear dash btn for button which is how X likes writing button in their code and I'm going to leave that there, but I'll explain at the end what we're going to use this class for at the end of this video. And that part's pretty cool, so you want to see that. Beautiful. Bigger is better. If you wanted to change the background of this section, you can always go to the section itself. Here we are in the skill bar section. Click on this little dropper icon. Click background color and then you can easily change the background to something like white or something even crazier. If you're not happy with the spacing above or below your elements, then you can go to Cornerstone, make sure you're on the section where we change background color, and just change the padding. There's a default of 45 pixels below and above each element, and you can make that shorter or larger if you'd like. Let's go back to the bricks and let's name the section for skills and now let's add another section by clicking the bricks add section you might notice this block quote element here and wonder why I didn't insert it in our parallax section instead of this text and that's because I like how text gives us more options and more control over how the text looks if we inserted this block quote instead where is it there it is and you can see that it just gives us a few options the quote looks nice but we don't have all the full options of the uh, WordPress editor screen with visual and text. Delete. Alright, so in this section I want to give us a counter and I hope you're seeing that adding sections to your X theme and integrity is basically a matter of drag and drop in the right place. Counters should be displayed horizontally across the page. So let's click on our section and then click manage layout and we can change this layout to four columns and then back in elements we can easily drag in even more counters the section should adjust to the right size and now we can click through to each individual counter and customize the options so that it's perfect for our website save changes refresh and we're looking good right above our counters within this button code you might have remembered that we wrote in this custom unique class called clear dash button and that's where I want to end this tutorial go ahead and copy whatever custom class you wrote like clear dash button and let's go to our customizer tab click custom then write in that unique class we assigned to the button this time with the period before it and an open close alligator bracket after it in part four, you'll learn how to use the ease of your keyboard to write in beautiful, precise changes across your entire website. Can't wait to see you there, and thanks for watching.